I think we can all agree that if you're looking at buying an $11,000 mobile home somewhere in Central Florida, that it's no surprise if the pictures look like this. <gasps> However, if you're looking to sell a decent property or something that, let's say, you know, a normal person would want to look at or buy, then it's probably important to have some good pictures. But you'd be surprised at just how many listings out there don't have good pictures. And I'm going to show you some key examples right here in this video. Now, let's start out strong with this one right here, because this is a $2.1 million house located in St. Pete Beach, Florida. And this house is for sale by owner. So a lot of people think they don't need an agent and maybe they don't if they've gone through the process a couple times of selling a home, but clearly they forgot to make their house look good online, which is probably gonna prevent it from selling in the long run, especially when you're asking this kind of money. And at first glance, when you look at this house, the pictures seem to be okay, but the more you start flipping through them, the worse it starts looking. Like, okay, this isn't so bad so far, but just wait for it, wait for it, it gets worse, I promise. Here, we start running into some issues. You can see the lighting in this photo is terrible. You know, their furniture is just laying around. This closet door is just open over here. Nobody thought to close that up. Let's just photograph all of our junk over here in the corner. Let's leave the couch all messed up like somebody just had a rump on the sofa. Who knows? I mean... You know what I'm saying here, guys. I mean, this bathroom picture, atrocious. I wouldn't even want to go in this bathroom, and this is in a $2 million house. I mean, this bathroom looks like it belongs in some studio apartment from the 40s. This kitchen, are you kidding me? I mean, would you buy a $2.1 million house with a kitchen that looks like this? I wouldn't. I wouldn't even want to go look at this house. <laughs> Now I know I'm starting off this video strong and being very critical of this listing, but come on guys, if you wanna sell a $2 million house, get with the program, hire a photographer, spend two, $300, get a nice set of photos done, stage the home, make sure it looks good. And the whole point of this video is number one, just to have some fun and rip on some of these listings that really shouldn't even be out there like this. But the other half of it is to kind of teach you what you should do and what you shouldn't do if you're looking to sell your house, whether it's with an agent or yourself, this is a great example of what not to do. So let's look at a few more. Now look at this place, a multi-family property in Miami, Florida. This place is in Little Havana. So obviously whoever buys this property is probably gonna be a big time investor. You know, they're asking $3.6 million for this. You need to have some money to buy this property, no doubt. But who's even gonna be interested in looking at it? I mean, look at that, they have like six pictures. And I knew I could find some really crappy listings like this in Miami because I've been working in real estate down here for a long time and it never ceases to amaze me just how many crappy pictures are online. This property is listed by a real estate agent. Here's the tip. <laughs> if you're gonna hire a real estate agent, I advise you to at least go through their current listings or at least some of their past listings and see how did those properties look? How were those properties advertised? Because the last thing you want to do is give somebody a $3.6 million listing and these are the photos you get. I mean, this is not even, this is beyond lazy. This is just negligence in my opinion. Think about it like this. If your agent is putting pictures online that look like this and this is how you're being represented on the internet and on the MLS, how else are they representing you? Are they answering the phone calls? Are they showing up on time to showings? Are they treating other agents and buyers with respect and professionalism? My guess is probably not. Next lesson. <laughs> now here we got another for sale by owner property, way more expensive than the first one, five and a half million dollars. That is a huge chunk of change, probably in the top 1% of the most expensive homes in Florida. And for some reason, this guy thought that the best picture to start with was a picture of the back deck and some ornaments hanging from the tree. And the next, I don't even know how many pictures, are just pictures of uh, the papaya tree and ornaments on this tree. And just like these really grainy pictures that look like they were taken five years ago in an old cell phone, you know? Like, come on, man. If you wanna sell a $5 million house, you really need to step up your game. And just clean things up a bit. Or better yet, don't photograph stuff like this, you know? Yeah, okay, that tree in the backyard is pretty, but I don't need to see 10 pictures of it 
Especially when I'm looking to spend five and a half million. All right, good. We got some aerial shots. That's great, at least. At least he probably has a drone or something like that to get these shots. So I, I can see the effort there, okay? At least I'll give him credit for that. This one, trying to paint a scene of people like enjoying and using the backyard amenities. I understand what the intention was here, but it just looks terrible. And the front yard, are you kidding me? This doesn't look like a $5 million house. This looks like a trailer park. At first glance, when I look at this, I feel like I'm driving past some kind of trailer park down here in Miami. And I'm not saying this to be me. I'm saying this because this is my first impression. As a real estate agent, as somebody who's looking to buy a home, if I saw this, I would totally glance over this listing and not even give it a second thought. Obviously, I'm in the business. I know that if something's a good deal, regardless of how good the pictures are, you're gonna wanna go look at it, but that's besides the point. Trying to view this through a lens of a normal buyer, somebody who's got this kind of cash, I think they're gonna be less than impressed by this curb appeal of this house. If you wanna get that kind of cash, you better make it look like your house is worth five and a half million dollars. <laughs> I mean, most of these pictures are pretty bad, guys. And by the way, we haven't even seen the inside of the house yet and we're already 33 pictures in. So that's another thing. Who buys a house or looks at listings online when you can't even see the pictures of the inside of the home? Let's see if we're even gonna get any. I mean, what was that? <laughs> You're showing a picture of this creek in the backyard with your garbage laying there next to the water? How attractive is that? Okay, this one's not terrible. It kind of shows, you know, the kind of party scene you can have here. So here we go. We just went through the whole set of 46 pictures of this listing, and not a single one of these photos was from the inside of the house. So that makes me ask two things. One, what's the matter with this person? And two, what are they trying to hide? And I think also, if the outside of the house looks this bad, imagine how bad the inside looks. So I'm guessing the reason why anybody would be even remotely interested in this property is probably because of location. It's in Sarasota, Florida. It's waterfront. It's a big lot. It's a big house, but it probably needs a ton of work. And for this kind of cash, it's probably not worth it. Now for quick reference, and this might even be kind of obvious, let's just take a look at a house that has been professionally photographed. And by the way, it's cheaper than these other homes that we just looked at, but it looks like it's worth 10 times more. And I can just give you a great example of just how far professional photography can take your home to the next level. You can see right here in this picture, the curb appeal is excellent, okay? It's a very clean photo. There's no garbage in the front yard, unlike the last house. You know, we have some chairs up on the patio, setting the scene of how you might want to use the front porch of this house. And that's just on the first picture. The first picture looks very good. Now let's take a look at the rest of them. Another one from the front, just kind of showcasing the yard more. Okay, the garage. Now look at the inside of this house. The house is gorgeous. Obviously it's been totally renovated and every single item in this picture has been curated. I'm guessing that this house has probably been professionally staged. I would be surprised if someone actually lives here. It could be possible, but all of this does look pretty staged to me. Um, looking at it through my real estate agent eyes, it just looks like all this furniture was just set here for the pictures, and that's okay, because that's what makes great photos. And when you have pictures like this, it just really gives the buyer um, an idea of what it would be like living in this house. And so I think every single one of these pictures so far has been amazing. And I'm not even sure if they're professional, but they probably are. This could just be somebody with a keen eye for design, and these pictures easily could have been taken with just, you know, a regular camera or possibly even an iPhone. The only critique I have so far is we haven't seen any of the rest of the house. I'm already halfway through the pictures. We've just been looking at different angles of the kitchen and the main living room area. We finally have one here of the dining room. Hopefully they're gonna show the rest of the house here soon. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We got some bedroom shots, hopefully some bathroom ones too. Yep, we got a bathroom shot here. And you see everything here is perfectly set up, right? This bed is made, the pillows are set there perfectly. It just looks aesthetic and clean and it makes you want to go see this house. And this is how big of an impact having nice photography and having things clean and organized can really make on a listing. After looking at all these pictures, 
Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with these pictures. They do a, a great job showcasing the house. They show everything that you need to see, nothing that you don't need to see, and I think it's perfect. Now the house itself is pretty expensive. We're not gonna get into all that. They're asking $820,000 for this three bedroom, two bath in St. Augustine. That's besides the point, but I think the pictures are really great. And besides the price, if somebody's just looking at this online, I think they're gonna have no problem getting calls and having traffic coming through this listing on a regular basis. Let's take a look at another house in a much lower price point, $269,000. And at first glance, when you first see this very first picture, it's not terrible, but you can immediately tell that they are not professionally done pictures, okay? Just by the lighting and the angle that this picture was taken, I know right away they're not professional. And as we move through them, we'll see that it just gets worse. At least we got a picture of the front and the backyard here, so that's a step up. And, you know, now we're getting in the inside, but look at this mess. Nobody wants to see, you know, your Christmas mess and your moving mess all laid out over here. The bed all jumbled up, the dog sitting on the bed, garbage bags sitting over here on the chair. I mean, come on. I mean, how do you not see this, you know? If I can see it as a stranger, why can't you see it? The bathroom, obviously, you know, if you have a small bathroom like this, you, you need to put your stuff somewhere, I get it. But for the pictures, okay? If nothing else, if just for the pictures, at least do your best, remove this stuff, put it in a different room just to get the pictures taken. And then you can put your mess back. And when someone comes to see the property, they might be a little bit shocked because the pictures look better than it does in person. That's a whole nother story and we're not gonna get into that in this video. But you can see, I mean, when you see junk in the pictures, when you see people's stuff laying around, all this stuff in the shower, it just looks bad. And the picture quality itself is bad. I mean, look at this huge white mark on the pictures. It looks like the lenses on this camera are totally smudged up. You know, they didn't turn any of the lights on. They didn't even bother to open the blinds in this picture to let in light in this bedroom. I mean, guys, if you want to sell a house, it needs to look good. And I know I've probably said that like 10 different ways already in this video, but just all these pictures is proof of what I'm saying, you know? I don't know how many more of these I'm going to go through, but I'm looking at this picture of the garage. This is just awful. Obviously, if you got stuff in the garage like this, you can't move it all around. But what you can do is just skip it. Don't take this picture. Don't put this in the listing. You know, if you have a junk room that just can't be dealt with until you move, don't put this in there. It's that simple. <laughs> Every single photo has clutter, okay? The house just looks awful like this. I'm sure if the place was totally empty, cleaned, painted, and had all of the lights on, and had all of the blinds open, this would be a totally different listing. But because of the presentation here, it looks terrible. And I think that's enough said for this one. Now, since all of these listings so far have been in Florida, let's at least look at one other one that's out of state, just to prove that this happens all over the place. This is not a Florida problem. This is a problem that you see all over the place. And I wasn't really sure where to look, so I just picked a random place and I started looking in New York to see what I could find. And I found this one, another very expensive property, almost a million dollars. The first picture, this is what you get. I mean, that's the curb appeal. Okay, I understand that the house probably needs work and maybe the neighborhood's not even the best. I don't know, I don't know this area at all. But why would this be your main picture, right? If you wanna sell this place, wouldn't you take a nice picture of the kitchen or something that this house has that makes it appealing to a buyer instead of this? I mean, this looks like it's in the ghetto. I'm not gonna lie. The kitchen itself is actually not bad. You can see they did a nice job remodeling this kitchen and if they would have just cleaned up this kitchen a little bit more and had some better lighting in this photo, this actually could have been a pretty good picture and maybe the best one to start with. So when a buyer's flipping through Zillow or any other website, then this is the first picture they see minus the clutter. You see, it's really not that hard. It just takes a little bit of thinking ahead when you're gonna be doing something like this. Again, in the bedroom we see 
you know, people's stuff just laying around. You can see they sort of made an effort to make it look a little bit nice. You know, maybe they made this bed here, but they just threw this blanket up there. They got blankets on the floor. Put that in the closet. Just take it out of the way. Here, they have the closet door open. No one needs to see what's in your closet, <laughs> okay? Another terrible picture, just like, you really can't even see what's up with this room, and all, all my eyes are drawn to are this bed and this sweater hanging over this chair and the floor. I don't know what else I'm supposed to be looking at here. Again, we have a huge mess in the corner on this table that easily could have been dealt with before these pictures were taken. More stuff just laying around. This is probably one of the best pictures. At least they made an effort to make the bed and put things nice here, and there's hardly any clutter in this picture. But again, the picture quality itself is pretty bad. So these are snapped with some kind of an old smartphone, and it just doesn't look good, guys, in general. Why would you go and visit this house? The bathroom? Atrocious. I don't even want to go in this bathroom. Now, I think I made my point pretty clear by this video, and if you thought I was a little bit mean, it's on purpose, okay? You have to give some tough love sometimes in order for people to, like, wake up and see the reality and see the truth, and, uh, well, it is what it is. But the important lesson to learn from this video is that just get good pictures done. Think ahead of time when you're going to list your house for sale. Think about how it's going to look to the other person who's seeing your home for the first time. How are they going to react? How are they going to interpret your listing when they see it online? Because every single search nowadays starts with a listing picture online or even a video tour online. And if it looks like this, no one's going to buy your house. But if you're interested in seeing some nice homes for sale, especially pool homes here in Florida, then check out this video right over here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.